I think I can speak for all the sneakerheads out there. All Star Weekend 2020 has been in disappointment. What's going on everyone? My name's Roscoe and welcome to the channel. So the highly anticipated Yeezy Quantum basketball sneaker, it never dropped, at least online. It turned out it was going to be a Chicago in-store exclusive and that was the only way you were able to cop this sneaker that we have been waiting and waiting and waiting years of our lives for. Yeah, they did that. They pulled a fast one on us. But the way they dropped the shoe, it was amazing. If this is how they're gonna do drops, I will never miss an NBA All-Star weekend as long as I'm on YouTube. I am going to go to these events. But the way they rolled it out, they had the Sherps in the city of Chicago. I believe they had it rolling down Milwaukee Ave where all the, the sneaker boutiques are, and they were giving out free quantum sneakers. And I know there was kind of like a video going viral on the internet. They had a couple guys take their shoes off their own feet and try to exchange them. Turned out one of them was the Banana Boat Fear of God ones that are currently going for like $2,000 on StockX. I know that got a lot of people heated. In the heat of the moment, I can see where this guy went. You know, the excitement, the buildup. You had all the cameras around you, it was a moment, and the kid took off his $2,000 sneakers. Wax kind of clarified it on Instagram that you didn't have to do that. I think those guys just wanted to do it because they knew they were probably gonna get the shoe. I guess we also found out too later on that they ended up getting the shoes back. I know the Jerry boys were pretty upset about that. Oh, $2,000 sneakers. If the shoe is worn, they're not worth $2,000. And he ended up getting a pair of Quantum basketball sneakers. Whew. Those shoes are so fire. Now the Quantums has the 3M we know about, has that zigzag 3M pattern on the side of the sneakers. More information about the shoe is that it would only be coming out in full sizes. So you're only gonna be able to get it in eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nothing bigger than a 12 at this moment and there's no half sizes for the Quantum. Now the Quantum sneaker is the lifestyle sneaker. There was another sneaker we really didn't know too much about and that was the Yeezy basketball shoe. Now the Yeezy basketball shoe is for performance and that was the sneaker Zach Levine wore for the three point shooting contest. And they actually did a shock drop for the Yeezy basketball on the Adidas app, but you had to be a Chicago resident or in Chicago at that time. You had to be selected randomly. Those sold out super quick, but we did get a little bit of a leak Thanks to someone that follows me out there, I appreciate it. They sent me over this screenshot. It looks like the basketball version will be restocking on May 15th. So there will be a worldwide release of the basketball sneaker on May 15th, which makes sense. They're making a Yeezy basketball shoe. Why keep it limited? You want the ballers to ball in them, right? So on May 15th, we will see the Yeezy basketball restock, but that's just a placeholder. That date can be subject to change. It all comes down to production and if it's on time. No word yet on the Quantums, which I know are far, far more popular. And actually, I will have a Quantum review coming very soon. Hopefully by the end of the week, I did manage to snag a pair. But overall, man, it's been awful. It's been awful for All-Star Weekend, unless you hit. Unless you ended up hitting on the sneakers app, even the Nike boys out there. It was pretty disappointing of a weekend. I mean, you had the new beginnings pack. Only drop in store in Chicago. They never released online. There was petitions being signed online for people to bring that airship back. Nike does it, but let's just make it super limited and in store for only Chicago. So they also made the 85 reverse Chicago's Super limited to 23,000 pairs, so that one was automatic L for a lot of people out there. But then the big sneaker for the weekend had to be the Off-White Air Jordan 5s. Now they did release online on the sneakers app through Draw. It's always an L, at least for me, but I know a lot of people ended up taking a W on that. I'm shocked that the Off-White Air Jordan 5 resale price hasn't tanked at all. I mean, it's still hugging $1,000 on most sizes, which is absolutely crazy. To see the market right now, it's just so high. I thought that shoe price would be right around 600 bucks. Absolutely insane. As soon as they release that, Virgil brings the next colorway out. He doesn't even give you a second to enjoy 
the black colorway that just dropped. Nope, we're already thinking about the next colorway. Um, it's always about the next shoe. It's never about the shoe that you just caught. Guys, let me know what you think about the Yeezy Quantums or just NBA All-Star Weekend in general. Everything was super limited. Everything was in store. You know, I ended up only copping the Air Jordan 3s and also the UNC to Chicago, the women's pair. <sighs> if this is how it's gonna be, it's like NBA All-Star Weekend has turned into Complex Con, I feel like. I just wish, honestly, they all released online and they all gave us a chance on getting these shoes. Two weeks ago, we were thinking about all these shoes dropping. I was worried about my bank account being hit so many times. I wasn't even able to get any of these. Now what's releasing this week from Yeezy will be the Yeezy 350 V2 Region Exclusive Pack. That's gonna be dropping on February 22nd. That's this upcoming Saturday. We are gonna be getting the Earth colorway. That is for North America, so US, Canada, and Mexico. I believe it's gonna be dropping everywhere, so you're gonna be getting it at Champs, you know, Adidas.com, and probably the Adidas app, and also EasySupply.com. So it's gonna be dropping everywhere. I think it will sell out pretty quickly. Resale price on this one, I think it's gonna be right about 300 bucks. And also, since it being a region exclusive, you're gonna have a lot of people outside of the US want to try to cop this shoe. I think it's a really nice colorway. Tail Light, being the EU Russia exclusive, is dropping on the 22nd, and also the flat colorway which is an Australia Asia exclusive those you know I think are gonna be very hard to get as well even in the EU if you're out there I mean everything lately has been US only really so you're finally getting a Yeezy sneaker it's a very popular colorway everyone here in the US really likes that colorway so that one might have the most resale value so that's what's gonna be dropping this week we also got the MNVN in the orange pair. That's gonna be dropping on February 28th. A lot of people also hit me up about the Alva, the 700 V3. That shoe got pushed back. From last I heard, it's gonna be April. It could drop March. They're always moving these dates around. Super excited about the new 700 V3 in the all black. It looks very crispy and clean. That is all for today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of NBA All-Star Weekend. I thought it was just a huge L, especially since I built it up so much. I was so excited for this weekend. They broke my heart. Adidas and Yeezy, you broke my heart on Valentine's Day. Soon as I posted my How to Caught video, they literally posted on adidas.com, Chicago only. But that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.